guys, welcome back to Making Food Monday. This week, I'm actually not even home. You might be confused right now, but actually we are sort of on vacation, out house hunting, where we're gonna move. So I've prepared this video early. For me, today is only Thursday. So I'm really getting a jump on this. Anyway, today I'm gonna make something that I've wanted to make for a long time, but every time I say the word cabbage, my family goes, you know, mom, can we have something else? So today I'm making it anyways because I love fried cabbage and uh, we're gonna see if the pressure cooker can do as well as the skillet can. So today I'm gonna make cabbage and kielbasa with potatoes. This is actually quite possibly the easiest recipe I have ever put in my pressure cooker, you guys. This is going to be super simple, and I really hope that the flavors turn out so that the kids don't say, ew, mom, that's not good, because I really think this is gonna be easy and tasty. For today's recipe, all we're gonna need is some olive oil, a head of cabbage, you can use yellow or purple, I like the purple one, some beef kielbasa, I've got two of them just because I thought the kids might enjoy it more if I put a little more meat in. You could just use one if you don't feel like you need that. And I've got some red potatoes that were just kind of sitting in my cabinet looking sad, so I decided to throw those in too. And of course, we're gonna need salt and pepper to go with our cabbage and potatoes because those are gonna need it. And that is it, you guys. That's all that's going in the pot today. Okay, first step today is to get my kielbasa cut into nice, small, bite-sized pieces. I'm actually gonna cut each one of these in half. So we get half rounds. And then I'm gonna cut them nice and small so that the, the sausage will be uh, dispersed throughout the dish fairly evenly. That way we don't get a lot of sausage in one bite and no sausage in another bite. Just make sure that we got plenty of sausage all through the dish. of my sausage cut up. I'm going to take some of my olive oil and just put some down in the bottom of my pot. Then I'm just going to take my sausage and put it right down in the bottom with the oil and plug it in. Then I'm going to turn that on to the sear roast function and go ahead and start it and let that start to brown in there. While that is browning we're going to start preparing our potatoes. And really this is super easy since they're little red potatoes. I'm just going to either quarter them or kind of slice them a little bit if they're a bigger one. They don't need to be cut very small, just bite-sized pieces. And that is all we're going to do with those is just cut them into nice bite-sized pieces. Now because I want to make sure that my, my potatoes specifically get salt and peppered, I'm going to make sure and salt and pepper those before I put them into the pot. Just going to put the salt and pepper directly on the potatoes just to make sure that they get enough flavoring. right back in the bowl. The next step naturally is to cut our cabbage. Now if you've never cut a cabbage before, I kind of like to do a grid across the top and the side and then slice it off just to make sure that it's all nice and small pieces. You don't end up with really any big chunks. Got the sausage turned off. You see all that yummy flavor in the bottom there? Some people might call that oil and be tempted to drain that off. No, 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 don't drain that off. That's all the flavor that you've just released from your sausage. And now you're just gonna add the potatoes and the cabbage to it. So I'm gonna take my potatoes and toss those right down there on the bottom. And now I've gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this cabbage into that pot. Now, this cabbage will shrink as it cooks. Hey guys, I got it all in. 
Now this would be the point where sometimes I say, I'm not concerned that the pot is too full because I know that cabbage is gonna shrink. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little concerned because that is a lot of cabbage in there. I also know that it's going to shrink when it cooks and it's probably only gonna be half a pot when it's finished. However, I'm a little concerned. So I'm not gonna tell you to do it this way until after we see if it works. This is how I'm gonna do it because I know cabbage is gonna shrink and I want enough food to feed my family for the day. So I need to make sure that we've got enough in there. So let's seal her up and see what happens. Okay guys, we all know that the pot needs steam in order to seal. So in goes a quarter cup of water. That's gonna help me build my steam that I need in order to seal that pot. Let's get that lid on. The lid went on. Let's see if we can get her to seal. Okay guys, so I am going to put this on my vegetable steam function. And then I'm gonna take the time down to three minutes and then push start. And hopefully we have some cooked potatoes in there when we're finished, because that's the biggest thing we need to make sure of. The cabbage will steam in any amount of time, because it doesn't take nothing to steam some cabbage. But I'm a little concerned about those potatoes because they do have to soften. So we'll try three minutes, and then we'll check to see what's going on in there. If we need a little bit more, of course we can seal it back up after we stir it, but let's start with three minutes and see what happens. Okay guys, the pot was too full and it won't seal. Um, so what I did was I opened it while I had the pot open. I took advantage of there being just a little bit more space in there and I mixed it all up so that the flavors would be kind of mixed throughout. Now I'm going to reseal my pot. Okay, this time I'm gonna go ahead and choose my chicken function because it seems to work for me. I'm gonna go down to three minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and start that. Now you might ask why I'm switching functions and I think maybe part of the problem is that the vegetable steam option does not get quite as hot as the chicken function will because that's supposed to be my high pressure. So I think maybe it will get hotter, it'll build the steam faster and maybe it will seal this pot. So let's give it a try. I can already hear her warming up. So maybe, maybe it'll work this time. Looks like we're gonna get victory this time guys. Yay! Now the timer will start and in three minutes it will be dinner time. Hey Mia, I've got it all ready. Now all I need are my... Do it. Guinea pigs! Ooh, I like the horsey bouncing one. There's a scary pig. I was in a distractor. Oh dear. Oh my god, that's scary. It looks happy, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Okay, so the cabbage does not smell very good when it's cooked because it's cabbage, but Nano, you're going first. <laughs> I didn't I think it's the first time, this is the first time everybody goes like, yeah, I don't want to go first. Uh, no, let somebody else, it's fine. No, I'll just go last. No, I actually wanted to have first. Mm. 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 You actually like it? Uh, smoked sausage with the cabbage. It's actually not smoked sausage, although I don't know the difference between kielbasa and smoked sausage. Do you know what the difference is? One is Polish and the other one is oh, not Polish. Oh, that's better. Now I understand. So what do you think? It's actually really good. How many thumbs are you going to give that? It's not one of the best things you made, but it's definitely not the worst. Oh, good. Thanks, Nano. <laughs> are you eating your bowl? <laughs> you want to taste it? I need a spoon. Oh, I forgot to get you a fork. Here, you can use my fork. This one is the big one, big one, big one. It's the small one first. What do you think? Is that a good potato? Can I have thumbs for that? Actually very surprised. Thanks, um, little dude. You need to wait this. Okay, we'll taste cool it. Off. Okay, you can wait for it to cool off. Yeah, okay, you me. can let me know when it's done, okay? Hmm, I wonder who wants to go next. Dad's not hiding. I think we'll go with Dad. <laughs> Look at my sweatshirt. Ooh, fancy. Here, can I borrow my fork? 
Okay. Are you excited about this? I don't no, mind. No, not I, really. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind cabbage. Um. Yeah, I mean, anything you cook is delicious. Lies. Okay, here it goes. It smells smoky. Isn't it smoky? Well, taste and see. Are you stalling? I think you might be stalling. <laughs> Are you sure you need this? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my spoon. Here it goes. It doesn't have onions. Mm. I was not expecting that. That actually is good. Mm. Try salt and pepper. Oh, I already salted and pepper. It's amazing with salt and pepper. You like the it potatoes? with salt and pepper? How many thumbs do you give it with salt and pepper? Oh yeah? You can't, you can't eat it without salt and mm. pepper. Okay. The cabasa, or cabasa, whatever you call it, it's pretty good. I, mean, I like it. Dad. Yeah. How many thumbs are you gonna give that? Yeah. Thanks, man. It's smoky. Dad. I like it. Unfortunately, I don't think it's very pleasing to the eye. It's not like you go like. It doesn't look very appetizing. Oh, I'm gonna but eat this, but I think actually. it's it's kind of pretty. I mean, it's purple. Um, I don't know. All right, Mia, you're up, little lady. I'm gonna mm. let my fork taste it first. <laughs> okay, let your fork taste it and then put it in your mouth. It looks like potatoes on the end. Right, eat the potato first. Put it all the way in. All the way in. I'm scared. Go. This is a All the way in. You'll be surprised me. <laughs> she doesn't look very excited to taste this one. Okay. So? That doesn't look like a ugh face. It looks mm. like a eh, this is okay face. So, would you like to have this again, or are you pretty much done after one bowl? I'm done after one bowl. Okay, well at least at least you're willing to taste it. Thanks for at least tasting it, dude. So who thought that cabbage and potato with kielbasa was yummy? That was pretty good, actually. That was pretty good, right? So, we have a secret though, don't we? What's the secret? We're at Grandma's house. Yeah, we forgot to say how we thought the dinner went on the day that we did the filming. And I also forgot to do my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on that dish was that I will definitely make it again. Yay. I thought it was definitely worth doing. Mom. Even if I have to make a separate dish for the kids, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. So I will definitely I'll make it again. I'll have it again. You would like to have it again? But with a little more sausage. I barely got any sausage in mine. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, okay. So we'll definitely make it again. And uh, Jordan liked <coughs> it, but Jackson... Even though he liked the potato, refused to touch oh. it again. And Malia, meh, she didn't really care for it. So we'll make something else for these two, and everybody else will have that one again. Because yeah. that was yummy. 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 Yeah. And if you like this Mom. video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to make this channel strong, share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. And next time... Make tail soup. Okay. Da 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 da. Poof. You scary movie.